a bicycle kick from 40 yards, a 2.0 of the most famous goal of all time. Whoa! These are crazy football goals, but every goal gets better. And at level 5, Mesut Ozil brought PlayStation to real life. Coming into the last group game of the 2016-17 Champions League, Arsenal needed to win against Ludo Goretz if they wanted to top the group. But with just three minutes left to play, the scores were tied at 2-2, and some of the Arsenal players were beginning to panic. But you see, Mesut Ozil's a pretty chill guy, and while everyone was freaking out over missing a huge chance to finish first, he found the perfect breakaway and put the Ludo Goretz defense on puppet strings. Oh, come on! Ozil legit faked the same dudes twice and had them cleaning grass. Talk about composure! But you see, guys, sometimes it ain't all about being composed. You just gotta hit hard and drop a thunderbolt. In 2017, PSG was away at Anderlecht in the Champions League, and Zlatan decided to audition for NASA by hitting this rocket from out of nowhere. My god, that's insane! He almost ripped the net off at level 10! But for level 15, De Maria went from pulling off trick shots in his backyard to Rabona's on live TV. Meg the defender and still hit the Rabona goal? Nah, that's class, man. And at level 20, Van Persie was turning the World Cup into an Olympic sport. In the opening game of the 2014 World Cup, the Netherlands was up against Spain in a repeat of the 2010 final. Spain ended up winning that match 1-0, and after taking the lead early on, it looked like it was going to be deja vu all over again for the Dutch team, until Van Persie decided to switch careers mid-game and turned into the Flying Dutchman. The goalie didn't even move! How the heck has he done that? I mean, I tried it once in my Sunday league and almost broke my neck. There's just something about crazy headers that gets me going, man. Because at level 25, Ronaldo proved he was head and shoulders above everyone else. In his reunion versus his former team, Manchester United, even though he had a soft spot for them, Ronaldo wasn't going to let any sentiments affect his game and got so pumped up for this one, he ended up setting a football record for the highest leap in a game with this stunning goal. His leap was so high, Everest's face was at his knees. Kind of feels like if he had to become a pro baller, my man could have made it to the NBA because his leap at 41.7 inches is higher than the average NBA athlete with 28 to 30 inches. The science around Ronaldo's goal is great. But there's something science just can't figure out. Roberto Carlos at level 30. In 1997, Brazil and France were going head-to-head -head in the Tournoi de France. And with the players on both teams, you know it was gonna take something special to grab a goal in a game like this. Now, Roberto Carlos had been practicing a secret technique for weeks, and he finally had the chance to put it into practice and scored a banger so crazy, it had the entire stadium stunned. Imagine hitting that against a France team packed with all-stars. The goalkeeper Barthez wasn't the only one who couldn't explain what he'd just seen fly past him. Scientists from around the world had to hold a conference just so they could figure out how Carlos scored. Level 30 is great, but 35? Suarez was out of this world. When Barcelona faced Mallorca in the league in 2020, they were already cruising at 3-1 up when Suarez decided to try something new. Now, all through his career, he scored bangers over the years, but this one? Oof! Dude wasn't even looking at the ball. It's like he's got eyes at the back of his head or something starting to suspect he's a UFO, because that was crazy. That almost looked impossible, just like my man Mike Gone at level 40, who proved he didn't believe in angles. Nah, there's definitely something up with these Brazilian fullbacks and crazy goals. What the hell? He's scoring from there, and my homie Lukaku can't even bag a tap in. I thought that was crazy, 
until I saw level 45. Newcastle vs Chelsea in the league back in 2012, and everyone was expecting the Chelsea team to comfortably win this one. But Newcastle had other plans. And once Papi Cisse caught wind and got going, he had Peter Cech heading back to geometry class to study angles after hitting this. Hitting a swerve in midair, Papi Cisse brought anime ball to real life. Even he couldn't believe he scored. When you catch a ball sweetly, you'd know straight up. That's why my boy Ronaldo was all smiles after hitting the best goal of his career back in 2018. The Champions League quarterfinal versus Juve. And with Buffon in goal, Ronaldo knew he had to bring his A game. He scored early on, but after that, Buffon kept saving all his shots until he decided to crank it up a notch and rise to the occasion in spectacular fashion. A goal so crazy, it had Zidane thinking his hair was growing back. Even the Juve fans had to applaud this one, man. Amazing stuff! But you see, guys, as insane as these goals are, it's about to get even crazier. And now that every goal gets cranked up by 10, Ronaldo's bicycle probably wasn't the best they'd seen in Italy. Because a few years back, Felipe Mexis dropped a stunner. To put this into context, the dude is supposed to be center back, but he's scoring this? Yo, someone get me Lukaku's digits, he's gotta see this. But this unfortunately just falls behind the god himself, because at level 70, Zlatan hit the greatest bicycle kick of all time. When Sweden faced England back in 2013, Zlatan was on a one-man mission. He'd already bag a hat-trick in the game. And while most dudes would be satisfied after this, Zlatan still wasn't done. And to cap off a spectacular performance, he still had time for the most insane bicycle kick ever. 40 yards! That goal won Zlatan the Puskas Award for 2013. And to be fair, I don't think anyone else could have come close that year. It's a once-in-a-lifetime stuff, just like Messi's goal at level 80 the 2015 Copa del Rey final, and Messi's Barcelona was up against Athletic Bilbao. Now, they knew the drill. When Messi was on the ball, everyone fell back. And early on, the plan seemed to be working, until Messi got in the mood and had him dudes on a joystick. Dude legit took the ball from halfway, beat five players, and still scored? Messi's playing amateur FIFA in real life. Messi took on five players and had him eating dust. But back in 2007 and at level 90, he took on an entire team. In 2007, Messi was just starting out and got a rare opportunity to play for the first team against Getafe. Now, people had been hearing rumors that the kid could play, but no one really knew how good he was. And Messi figured that this was the perfect opportunity to have the entire world on lock and make them all go Encada Messi. Encada Messi had me dribbling my neighbor's dogs for weeks just to recreate it. But the thing is, Messi's goal was a 2.0, and the original goal was so insane, it got voted as the greatest goal of the century by FIFA and is the top pick at 100. The World Cup quarterfinal, Argentina vs. England. Coming into this, Diego Maradona was trying to perform what looked impossible by beating a star-studded England team. Now, Diego would do whatever it takes to win, and after hitting England with the hand of God early on, the English players were still trying to recover from the shock when he picked the ball off the halfway line and had the Queen cussing off her TV. Pretty sure the Queen wasn't a big fan of Maradona. He embarrassed an entire country on live TV. Maradona loved this goal so much, he used to head onto our channel to watch his replays over and over. Yeah, he subbed onto the channel, just like you're about to.